Epstein, the guy that introduced us, sort of like a punk rock politician type of guy. So he worked for Thrasher magazine, that skateboarding magazine, and he was going to go interview Duff. So I, I was like, hold on, let me get the book. I can help you with the interview. So I was like looking through the book and I was like, oh my God, he's actually kind of cute, this Duff guy. <laughs> <laughs> And then I was flipping through the pages, and then it, and it actually showed a picture of Matt on tour, his brother Matt. I go, oh, his brother plays music. You should talk to him about that in the interview. He plays, I think, trombone or sax and stuff. Mm-hmm. And like, and then I was flipping through pages, and I was like, yeah, he's cute. And then I was like, oh, he's married. Never mind. Because mm-hmm. <laughs> um, it showed a picture of him and his ex. So I helped him with the interview, and then he met with Duff. And then I had pictures out in Allure magazine. And I don't know, he had that. And unbeknownst to me, brought it to the interview. And he was like talking to Duff and asking him the questions kind of like you're asking me. And he was like, um, yeah, I was talking to my friend Susan and she actually had a GNR book and she was kind of helping me with the interview and she's a cool chick. She's a model, but she's not like model model. Like she's really down to earth, super chill Midwest girl. <laughs> and huh. and Duff, Duff's ears perked up and he's, and he's like, too bad you couldn't meet her, man, but I think you're married or something. And Duff was like, no, 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 I'm not. I'm divorced actually now for a year. Oh, <laughs> Oh, so then that's when the plot thickened and Stain called me and luckily I picked up and then he's like, here, talk to Duff on the phone. So I was like, just like, uh, okay. <laughs> Caught off guard. I didn't know he was going to put Duff on the phone. So it was hilarious, but he's really easy to talk to. Very low key. And as Duff says, it was just like natural from the beginning. And then, so then we just kind of talked on the phone a little and then he called me again on the tour eventually he's like hey well maybe when i get back to la from the neurotic outside or tour i could pick you up and we could go out to dinner or go out to eat or something it'd be great it's like yeah sure that'd be really nice and then the next time he called i thought about it and i was like oh i don't really know this guy and he's like a gnarly rock and roller and you know in the book it showed how it was like sex drugs and rock and roll kind of you know mm-hmm. cliche and so I was like, man, I'm going to pick him up. I don't want him to know where I live. So I picked him up. From the <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. But basically, we've been inseparable ever since. We really clicked. Yeah. Well, that's awesome. He's a total gentleman. 